What a do. What a do. K-Boss here. Going over how to move and play during the Alliance Duel. Now, hey, I have multiple accounts and I put up points in my main account, but I don't put up that the same amount of points in my other one. I just, this is a system that I follow and I hope this is beneficial for any free to play player or any player that has multiple accounts that spends on one or you know they'll spend a little bit you know what I'm saying and anybody who plays multiple accounts pretty much should know this already and if you don't why do you have multiple accounts but if you do and you want a little bit of extra I'm here for it I'm KB and this is Legion this is one of the uh, premier alliances that I'm in and I say premier because we play the Alliance dual game it's a game people and you are a, a participant in this game and if you want to be successful in this game you need to score well as a team and as an individual as you can see we like to dominate people that's just how it is we don't want nothing close and when we get with people that are close we show them the platinum chain okay <laughs> we just, clapping them cheeks is what he does you know feel me shout out to platinum chain i don't have to promote him anymore and uh, I can't wait until the end of this bad boy because I got some poop and some scoop coming. Trust. But this is not about that. We're going to go in and do the basics and what you should know and what you should do during these events. Now, mind you, I should have, I, I, I will be doing a series since I do have another uh, alliance that I'm in in 166, the Brooklyn Nets with Benjamin Simmons. And you know, um, she told me that I could uh, record on her uh, in her alliance, and I don't do as much. And the reason why is not because I don't like them or I don't care for them. That's not it. My biggest thing, um, while I don't, is I don't really spend the money there like I should. Now I'm not saying I, I, I have I have. If you don't know, I have four accounts. And you can't spend that kind of money on four accounts, especially when my premier group that I'm part of, um, I want to focus and make sure that they have what they need first, if that makes sense, because I was there first. However, I do try to do my best to score as many points as I possibly can. And I'm going to go over what I do with multiple accounts and, and, and I get a lot of people asking, how can you do all these accounts? And how do you, and I don't spend money on my other accounts. Eh, well, that's not true. I spent $3 on them because of certain things. Like one of the things I will tell you, you should get another, uh, another droid. If you don't get the actual uh, drop down on um, your, um, HQ because on your HQ you're able to you know get all these cards or whatever and they give you abilities nonetheless <clears throat> I don't spend money like I spend money here and it's just it's I'm I'm just being honest so to circumvent that and me not being a leech <laughs> and I say this generally leech because that's what people do they'll leech on and you get a big spender and then they'll use your stuff and then they won't help out um, they won't do alliance duels and i'll be honest we have leadership here that is constantly reminding us constantly letting us know hey this is what this is this this is that the reason why is because they're experienced our leader here at uh, legion has uh multiple accounts as well and he has accounts that 
are large and I'm pretty sure he spends and focuses a main and majority of his money there too. So even though this is his alliance, right? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. There's people out there that have multiple accounts and but they do the least amount of work on them. And I can't do that. I have ADHD and I'm the type of person I gotta keep fidgeting with shit. Anyway, excuse my French if you don't like the cussing. It's gonna happen. I'm prior military. Anyway, that being said, sorry I'm upgrading on my other account. Because I have, like I said, I have multiple accounts and I'm constantly working. I'm constantly doing this. I spend eight hours a day doing this. Not everybody has the time to do it. Um, and the reason why I spend eight hours doing it is like, what? You don't have a life? You don't have a job? I do. My job is this. I decided I want to create an oc I want, I sat, I sat one day and I said to myself, what do I love to do that I would do for free? play video games so then I was watching YouTube and you see all these gamers doing the same thing so I was like you know for years I I watched their stuff and I learned all the crap all the tricks of the trade and a lot of these games are on the same platform and when I mean platform they play similarly not the same design like certain ones have cer certain themes but this right here this alliance tool this has been going on for years. This is nothing new. Once you learn how to score points, then you go out there and practice and score points. The rule I use, the number one rule, I do not upgrade or better my situation until that event. Let me give you an example. We're currently in Heroes, right? The Hero Initiative. If I upgrade it's only on today. This is the only time I upgrade it. So throughout the week, you earn all those uh, tickets, right? And let's say at, let's say all together, you get all those tickets, right? And you can accumulate anywhere from 4,000 to even up to 10,000 without having to spend any money. Yes, you heard me. If you held them, and only did it on this that day you will get max rewards for your efforts but what do I see and this goes for a lot of places I mean even with Legion I watch people upgrading their stuff non hero day I'm looking at it like they don't understand the game and they're not a team player as a former leader, I would not share with that person. I would not give them anything. When they ask for stuff, I wouldn't give it to them. But if I see you working and you're scoring, I, the first thing I do, right? If you're scoring well here in the rankings, if you're scoring well here in the rankings, what do I do? I send you stuff. If you're at the bottom, I'm going to act like your message doesn't matter. And you can't do that as a leader. I'm just that type of person. So that's why I back down because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just not that type of dude that's going to help somebody who's not going to fucking help me. And when I say not help me, I mean the alliance because me is the alliance. My alliance is me. That's how I look at it. I look at it as an extension of myself. And if you don't, why should I help you? Anyway, I'm off that point. So let's go over these different days. And these are the days that you do those upgrades. Because you get points. And in those points, you get rewarded. And then if you spend money, and you spend money on those days, you'll get rewarded. So it's like spending money, spending time, doing on the days that you get the most reward. If you do it outside of those days, boy, boy, girl, girl, what's up with you? You don't want extra? Okay, cool. 
So when I see people doing heroes during the middle of the week, I'm like, gee, they don't get it. They ain't gonna be here long. That's a fact. Because when you don't score well and you see other people scoring, like, oh, I don't, I'm gonna spend money all the time just to keep up. No, you don't. You should just only do it during that time period. And then you'll save all that stuff up and you'll save all your speed ups. Let me give you an example of this. So the next event coming up. The next event coming up is um, training. Do you see all those speed ups for training? I didn't purchase those. Those are from donating and saving. So when that event comes in, right, I have speed ups. So I can continue the speed up during that event or during that challenge to help the team and help myself at the same time get these fruits. Same thing that goes for each of these events. One thing I will say, you definitely want to make sure that you're in the research in is this right here. The Alliance Recognition. This is where you can maximize and get more points. Like here, you can finish these up and you'll get this. That's multiplying the boxes. So it's doubling up. So instead of having the first three, you're going to have one through six now. And then on those gathering days, your gatherings at 50% 50, uh, 50 wood and st uh, stone. Then when you do the gathering, if you were to gather electricity or gold, how long does that normally take you? Forever. So now you're speeding that process up. So it's helping you. Not to mention you have to use gears and during the research event in gears, spending gears, get your points. So this is, that's like doubling up. That's like taking your research, researching, getting the system points for the research. Now, if you speed it up, you get points there, then you get points for the CP, and then you get points for using the gears. So you should only do what? during that event right you should only be doing the age of science and researching during those time periods i know a lot of people say oh i gotta keep researching no i do all i save up all my speed ups i don't research during the middle of the week so, like i said depending on your build if it's 10 hours 15 hours whatever you do that the day before so during base expansion, you have one droid and you have one long build and you put that stuff down 12 hours or however long it takes after the reset time. So then once it's finished and you come to it, you click on it, bam, you get points for the CP. However, you also want to make sure that you're getting the biggest denomination possible, which is speeding it up. So imagine if you're holding all your speed ups for one day and unleashing those, getting some points, getting those boxes, upgrading your stuff at the same time, using the gears, because you'll get a whole bunch of gears out of the gift boxes. I mean, I don't know anybody who can't use 1,200 gears. I don't know anybody who can't use 750 gears. That's 2,000 gears for just having the research done. and culminating the plan of doing all your builds and all your researching and all your troop training and gathering and then you have a kill event the kill event is simple yeah I, I shouldn't have to go over that but at the end of the day you should understand that you should be up in the themes now we do see uh oh he's, he's trying to sneak up All right, I don't see nobody trying to sneak up. And then when it comes time to come to the event, I had a whole bunch of hero initiatives or tickets. And as you can tell, 
by my point, if you have a whole bunch of them and then when you go purchase some packs and then you go purchase this ticket right here, when you go and purchase these ticket right here, purchase ticket first, pop it open, buy your stuff and do all your upgrades in 30 minutes or less. Those, that's for the paid players. The free-to-play players, if you don't want to spend no money, imagine holding that for one day, or holding it for one special day, and you can gain anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000, and you're constantly up in here, you'll be able to use the Stargate and upgrade and do all that other stuff, and then you're scoring points, and you're helping out the Alliance. And then you got the military drill, which is super simple. The military drill is all training upgrades and speed ups. I, I will go in depth and next week, since it's going to be our last week um, and uh, of the season, I'm going to go and do each. I'm going to make a video and go over. I'm going to show you what I do so you can see what I do and how I do everything. And that way you will get an understanding of how I do it and how I can maintain my level of performance. I'm not trying to make anybody feel uncomfortable or upset or jealous or angry. I, I'm here to have a good time, uh, create uh, content and some educational stuff for people so they can progress in the game because we need more people in the game, period. Do I want people to quit? No. But if you're going to complain about how much money people are spending and how it's not fair, well, it sounds like either A, you should stop playing these games, period, because there's not a game on the planet that's not free to play. Or there's not a game out there that you're going to have a spin to win mentality. It's just the way that life is. If you're in the real world and you're an owner of your business, you're going to act different than your employee. There's people that are CEOs that play these types of games. There's people that own companies that play this type of game and they have a different mindset. They're coming from a leader, boss or owner mindset where they spend money. That's what they do when you're an owner and a, 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 a CEO, your job is to spend money to make your progressive progression function better. And most people that own their own business that are competitive, they throw their money around. So I don't understand why people are complaining about, oh, I can't, I hate this free to play stuff because I can't compete against people that spend money. No shit. No one else can in the real world either, buddy. Get used to it. That's just the way life is. If you're going to have a problem with it, go find another game that's not like this. I, I haven't found one yet. I have not. If you find it, I'll play with you. Holla at me. Let me know there's a game that has this kind of complexity and there is no money to be made. I'll be the first one to tell you there's not such a video game. Name one video game that doesn't have that. I I'll wait. Stop crying about what people are spending on and start doing the system and following the flow. Because if you follow the flow and you do what you're supposed to do, that's why these games exist. It allows you to progress and get better as a free to play player. It's and then they have offerings for those who want to do extra. And so they can make money to put food on the table for their kids. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the pay to win strategy. I use the free to play strategy and a pay to win strategy and I merge them together. And then that way I don't have to spend as much. I call it my efficient frugal spending on certain things in certain ways you should process. I don't shouldn't have to go over, but this is the last thing I'm going to go over. And I want to make this an un, a, a clear understanding. Look at Kiki. Kiki, Kiki don't like me. She, 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 Kiki doesn't want me to 
be beating her. She's that's why I'm I'm watching her. <laughs> Shout out to Kiki28. Hey, I love it. I love competitive women. Sexy as hell. I don't, I don't know what that is. But anyway, I digress. I don't want to be all creepy on my own video. But anyway. But I pay attention to that kind of stuff. I'm ultra competitive, and there's ultra competitive people that have a little bit of change in their pocket. <laughs> and they don't care what anybody else thinks. If you're a free-to-play player complaining about people spending money, they're just going to spend more money out of spite of you. That's just how it is. Some people are just fucking petty like myself. I'm a petty, I'm a petty motherfucker, man. I'll be honest with you. I don't like to lose. I don't like to get beat. I can take a whooping. I just don't like to take a beating. You know what I'm saying? I want to... Hey, I'm going to fight back. Trust. And that's all I'm saying. If you're the type of person that that wants to fight back, spends a little money, use this platform. Only use those on those days. But this is what I wanted to go on, and this is to be the last thing that I'm gonna talk about. And hopefully, I didn't go too long and ramble on, and I hope you enjoy uh, the game and the process. And excuse me for my rant. However, I do understand not everybody has the means to do these things and spend that type of money. But don't knock people, don't knock other people that have it because you don't. Or don't knock other people because you wouldn't want to spend it even though you got it, right? Because we have people that talk this trash, right? What's, where is he at? His name is I Am Drunk. He was talking that trash and uh, uh, talking that oh I hate free to I, I hate I hate pay to win guys. All they do is spend a whole bunch of money. And look, he's not even donating any troops. He's not even helping out his own people. Let me see, where is he at? I might have missed him. I don't wanna. I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong. I could have missed him. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Let's go to the bottom. Hold on. I am drunk. Not me, but that's his name. I am drunk. He didn't even donate any troops. Oh, there you go. This guy right here. You are four million seven hundred and eighty seven thousand. And you're only donating 6,800 CP. Team player or crybaby? <laughs> yeah, I call you crybaby. And we're going to see that on Friday, player. Talk to your smack. I'll put you on YouTube, bro. As I clap your cheeks. Compared to what I did. Right there. What did, that, what did that say? I'm a clap yo cheeks. Anyway, long story short. Please help people. Please help your alliance. Don't be a selfish player. Play within the game and help out your team. Because if you're not a team player, your team will be 5-0 crying about, oh, these pay to play win. Uh, we can't compete with people who spend that type of money. Let's go ahead and X this out, shall we? I'll, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna X him out altogether. Let's say we don't put him. I mean, cause honestly, hey, platinum. Platinum is doing it by himself. Everybody wants a Platinum. 
We have one of those in 166 as well. And he's doing it all by himself. And I'm like, damn it, man. I don't want to have to go and break out some ducats, but I'm going to have to help him because that type of person, man, he's going to get very upset and he's not going to want to keep playing with people that are not helping him. And that's what this video is for. This is not for uh, anybody else. This is for 166. This is to help planets from dying and being the punching bag for an alliance like us to come in and just take all your resources after people... You know, don't want to upgrade their stuff during the right time. And and we come to your hood and take all your goodies. It's what we do. So are you going to be the sheep? Or are you going to be the wolf? This is K-Boss. It's been 26 minutes. And I'm out.